A couple of weeks back, Bruce Buffer's team reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to discuss their fragrance right here on YouTube, and I accepted. And I have to tell you guys, I'm glad I did, because this stuff is actually pretty damn good, and I'm happy to share my thoughts with you. I guess what I'm trying to say is, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about Bruce Buffer's fragrance. It's time. Stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned there, guys. Do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. Comment down below. I'd love to know if you've tried It's Time by Bruce Buffer. And if not, after I complete my thoughts, if you are interested at all in what I had to say about this fragrance, I really think that you are going to be intrigued, especially when I tell you what this fragrance reminds me of because price points for the other fragrances that I'm going to mention, which are both designers, by the way, are significantly more than what you can get this uh, this fragrance for in terms of price. I was really excited when Bruce Buffer's team uh, reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review this fragrance because you guys know Bruce Buffer, well, if you know Bruce Buffer, he is one of the best in the game. He's a legend in, uh, well, the, one of the best in the game as far as ring announcing goes. He's a legend in the in the world of MMA. And just something about his voice is just so like powerful and it just like amps you up, gets you pumped up and excited, you know? And that's the message that he wanted to convey through this fragrance and I honestly think that they nailed it. This is a powerful, captivating scent that is also very sexy and it's just one of those fragrances that you spray on and you know that you're going to command and garner attention with this and it's another one that's just going to captivate others around you with all that said, guys, let's get into the scent notes of It's Time from Bruce Buffer, and I will tell you what the fragrance smells like. The top notes of the fragrance are cardamom, apple, and bergamot, and in the heart of the fragrance, we get orange blossom, nutmeg, amber, and vanilla, and in the base, we have tonka bean, cedarwood, and suede. So, guys, let me tell you, when you... Sprayers are great. That controlled, pressurized atomizer... By the way, this stuff retails for $100, and you can get this on sale. Oh, it smells so good. That opening is just, mm, it, it really just grabs your attention right from rip, you know? But as I was saying about pricing, it retails for 100 bucks. but I did check their website and, and their uh, Amazon shop, and this fragrance is on sale right now for 50 bucks, guys. $49.99 for a 100 ml bottle of this. And yes, it does open up very zingy, zesty with that apple, with that bergamot, giving it some life. And when it transitions to the heart, I don't really get any of that orange blossom. Yeah, I'm not getting much of the orange blossom presence, but I do get the spiciness from nutmeg. I also get an undertone of cinnamon adding to that spicy, warm quality. You also definitely get some warmth from the amber, a little bit resinous, benzoin perhaps, with the amber as well. There's a light tobacco touch in here. I'm guessing is from the utilization of tonka bean. Sometimes specific, um, sp different types, I, I, guess it's just, blah, blah, blah. I guess I should say different variations of tonka bean can give off a tobacco-like nuance, however, I don't think it's just the tonka bean here, actually. I think it's a combination of that tonka, cedar, and suede, giving it these, uh, the, you know, that leathery feel in combination with a, a light tobacco touch. As you could see by the notes, it starts off zesty and zingy with that apple and that bergamot. It transitions into this spicy heart of nutmeg. I get traces of cinnamon in here. You may, you may not. It's just what my nose is picking up. With the base leaving us with this nice suede leather, tobacco-ish tonka bean feel, which is just very, very, it, it's just a, a, a sophisticated, mature, sweet fragrance for a gentleman that, um, you know, maybe you are a little bit put off by Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir because of its strength and its sweetness. This fragrance reminds me of Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal Elixir quite a bit. It also reminds me of Giorgio Armani's Profumo Parfum. I think that's what it was called. I'm going to put the uh, the bottle here on screen so you could understand my reference point there. 
but you are going to pay hundreds of dollars for those two fragrances. I believe Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir, uh, Lamal Elixir, goes for like 140, 160 bucks, something like that retail. And I believe Profumo is discontinued fetching a pretty penny. For $49.99 for 50 bucks for this, no brainer. Especially if you like those uh, fragrances and you were put off by, you know, I could see people, and actually people did reach out to me and tell me that they were put off by Lamal, um, uh, the elixir, because of its potency and because of how sweet it is. So let's talk about that really quickly. This is not an overly sweet fragrance. There are some notes here that do give it sweetness, that tonka, you know, with its powdery sweet um, kind of facets that it has. That vanilla is sweet. It is warm. You have that amber adding a, a warm, cozy, you know, a warm, cozy, sweet facet as well. But it's very balanced with that suede and with that spice. This is a warm, spicy, lightly resinous, powdery, sweet fragrance with that um, that opening that does fade off to be quite honest with you but this stuff is incredible this is definitely mature sophisticated seductive sexy cozy warm inviting enveloping it's all of those things crammed into uh crammed into to one bottle and guys for 50 bucks i think that this is a no-brainer type of fragrance it is more versatile than the other fragrances that i compared it to but when it comes to performance it is no slouch either i'm getting every bit of eight hours with this fragrance with moderate projection moderate sillage comfortable scent bubble around me when people as people approach you they will definitely notice you this does not become a, a skin scent until after that eight hour mark it is not a monster it is not a beast this is something that is very versatile. Unlike Lamal Elixir, it is very strong, potent, and slightly obnoxious. Very cloying, so you have to be a little bit more like, um, you know, selective to where you can wear that fragrance. Whereas this is much more versatile because of the way it performs and because of the blending and balancing of the fragrance. So, job well done by the team over at uh, Bruce Buffer and Bruce Buffer himself. This is a fantastic fragrance, and I promise you guys, you heard it from my mouth right, well, you'll hear it from my mouth right now. When it comes to fall and winter, because that's when I think this stuff will shine in the fall and winter, I have been wearing it in the, uh, in the hot summer, um, you know, days that we've been having here to get myself prepared and to be able to discuss this fragrance further with you guys, but I promise you, when it comes to fall and winter, you will be seeing this in my videos i could guarantee you that another thing that i want to say about this uh, aside from those two specific seasons is you can also get away with this su uh, on uh, summer nights um special events that you're going to or date nights things of that scenario i would definitely wear this but when it comes to fall and winter time this is pretty much going to be like my signature scent because i love the scent profiles well the scent profile of lamal elixir but it I have to be selective with it because of how strong it is, you know, so I can't really wear that one into the office and into my day-to-day -day activities and routines that uh, that I do when I'm not at work, whereas this fits right in, comes in handy, and it is one that I just, I absolutely love. My overall rating on this, guys, I have to tell you, it's a 9.5 out of 10 for me. In terms of scent profile, you guys know that I love my semi-sweet, you know, warm and spicy fragrances, seductive fragrances, romantic fragrances, ones that lean a little bit on the mature side because this has that sophistication and mature um, vibe to it, even though it is on the sweeter, spicy, you know, warm, spicy side of things. Overall, it's a great scent, great performer, and I cannot wait to have this one in heavy rotation. And I hope you guys have and get the opportunity to check this out and uh, the other body line products that they offer, guys. So that those are my thoughts on Bruce Buffer's It's Time. If you guys have tried this fragrance, let me know. Share with me your thoughts, good, bad, and different, as long as it's respectful. Respect is, uh, is number one around here. And until next time, guys, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace.